Hello everybody and so welcome today to the second of the tutorials on how to play someone you loved on um, the guitar in the key of G major. So last week uh, we looked at the four chords. There are five eventually but for the, this for this week and for next week as well we're just going to really start focusing on those four and then we'll look at what to do in the in the little middle eight section. So I think just be an idea, uh, just to recap on song first, I'll just get my guitar which is here. Um, and so we'll just, we'll recap firstly on the four chords. So the first one we need to think about again is our chord of G major. So if you remember we have, these are our four chords. <clears throat> For the opening of the song. I'm going under now, this time I feel there's no one to save me. Okay, so let's look at those four chords and we're going to start putting together that verse and the chorus. So when we look at a chord of G major, on you've been supplied with a, um, a chord chart which is here and you can see G and it shows you where to put the fingers, but it's probably easier just for me to sort of show you as well on the instrument. So. We have our top string here behind fret number three. One, two, three. I'm going to put my little finger on finger number one here is going to go behind the second fret on the fifth string down. And then my third finger, this one, is going to go behind the third fret on that. And as long as they are behind the fret and I'm on the tips of my fingers and pushing in, it should sound quite clean. If I'm, if I'm over the top of frets, sometimes it sounds a little bit weird, so we want to make sure I'm just behind the fret, tips of fingers, pushing down. So just to recap again, little finger goes on the highest string, the thinnest string, behind fret number three. One, two, three. There it is, just behind the fret. Not on it, just behind it. Okay? Then finger number one, that one here, that one is going to go just behind the second fret on the fifth string down, and this middle finger here is going to go just behind the third fret on the lowest string. So that's my G major chord. So that gives me, I'm going under now this. Then we need to change to a chord of D. D is quite easy. Um, I want finger number two, so remember finger numbers one, two, three, four. Um, so I want to get finger number uh, finger number two just behind the second fret on the highest string. Finger number three just behind the third fret on the next string down. And then finger number one just behind the second fret on the third string down. And then really I want to try to only play the top four strings but I can play them all if I need to. But really, the top four strings. So let's just recap again on a chord of D as to where I put my finger so we can practice that today. So finger number two goes behind second fret on the highest string, the top string. Finger number three goes on the next string down behind the third fret. And then finger number one goes behind the second fret on the next string down. And then I want to play the top four strings. So if I was you, what I'd be doing now is trying to practice going from G to D. So you can use one of these, which I do, um, but I use one of these because I'm using a steel string guitar. Most of you will probably have nylon string guitars, and actually your fingers are better for that. Because um, you can see the sound's quite different here. Or, so nylon string guitars, the, the strings break a lot more easier than these, so that's why you use your fingers instead of one of these to make sure that you don't break your strings, obviously. Um, so I would be practicing going from G to D, and G to D, and G to D, and keep practicing moving around these chords. When I started learning guitar, before I even started thinking about a song, I just sat and I practiced my chords, and I practiced my chords, practiced getting my fingers so they naturally went into the right shapes, so then I could learn to play the songs. We're gonna try and do it slightly backwards, but that is what we need to do. So I really would be practicing G, D, and then, once you've got that, then you wanna bring in the third chord, which is a chord of E minor. E minor is just two fingers, 
So if I look at my strings here, I've got string, I've got my top string, next one down, next one down, next one down, next one down. I want here, not the very bottom string, but I want finger number one behind the second fret on the, on the fifth string. And then I want finger number two behind the second fret also on the third string. So my fingers, sorry, on the, on the fourth string down, one, two, three. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, nothing there, nothing on these four, but on the next string down, finger number two behind the second fret, on the next string down, finger number <coughs> one behind the second fret. And I want my fingers really close together, <coughs> and then I can play all strings. So I'll just recap on that again to find our chord of E. So I don't, nothing on that one, nothing on that one, nothing on that one. Here, yep, nothing on that one. Yeah, so one, two, three, then <coughs> second fret, second finger, and then first finger behind second fret on the next string down. And that should give you. So then in order to play that, you need to start practicing moving from one chord to the next. So going from G to D, to E minor. So if I was you now, I'd stop the video and I'd practice moving from G to D, to E minor, excuse me. Doesn't help when you sing. Then we need to bring back in our next chord, which is our chord of C. So I'll go through that one with you again. So hopefully you can see clearly enough. So nothing on my top string, nothing at all. Next string down, I want to put my first finger behind, just behind the first fret, as you can, should be able to see that there. And then nothing on that one. And then, so one, nothing on that one, one there, nothing on this one, then this one here, second finger behind the second fret, and here, third finger, behind the third fret. It's quite a stretch, that one. And then nothing on the bottom string. Okay. So I'd be practicing now, moving from G to D, and then moving from E minor to C, and maybe then practicing how to move back, and keep cycling around the chords. Okay. So these are the only four chords that you need for the verse and the chorus. So once you've got those, you've got all but about 10 seconds of the whole song where there's just one more chord. So I'll just go through it with you and then we'll look at how to strum and how to use that sort of stuff. Okay, so your introduction would be G, D, E minor, C as on the video. So we get So I'm going to try and highlight where the changes are. I'm going under now this D. Time I feel there's no one to E minor. Save me. Change to C. Back to G. This all or nothing really to D. Got the way you're driving me. Change to E minor. Crazy. C. I need somebody to G, heal, somebody to D, no, somebody to E minor, have, somebody to C, hold, it's easy to G, same, it's never the D, same, I guess I kinda E minor, like the way you numbed all the C, pain, pain, so you put all that together, we go. I'm going under now this time I feel there's no one to save me This all or nothing really got away you driving me crazy I need somebody to heal, somebody to know, somebody to have, somebody to hold it's easy to say, but you're never the same I guess I kinda like the way you numbed all the pain Okay, so if you just think, all I'm doing right now is just getting the beat here So I'm, I'm doing nothing more than just going one, two, three, four, one, two, 
three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And in fact, the simpler you use your little strumming pattern, the easier. I mean, you can do complicated ones, but it actually detracts from the song because the song is so perfectly written, you don't need to have any of this fancy stuff going on. So just really simple. You can even do it this way. I'm going under now this time I feel there's no one to save me. And just change once every four. Or you can do it on the beat, it's entirely up to you. Then we use the same chords in the chorus. Another day bleeds into nightfall. No, that wouldn't work. Another day bleeds here into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all I let my guard down and then you pulled the rug I was getting kinda used to being someone you loved It's exactly the same chord, just in a slightly different order So now it's G D E C so I'll just go with now with you how to place those chords. So, so another day bleeds into night for D, and you're not here, E minor, to get me through it all. C, I let my guard down, and then you pull the rug. C, I was getting kind of E minor used, used to being someone you see loved. So you spot here, actually, a lot of the chords are late. And now the day bleeds now into nightfall now. And you're not here now to get me through it all now. I let my guard down and you pulled the rug. I was getting kind of used to being someone you loved. Just did up one more. So get ready on G. And now the day bleeds into nightfall. And you're not here to get me through it all I let my guard down and then you pulled the rug I was getting kinda used to being someone you loved So how to proceed forwards? Use the guitar chord chart just to help you but also use my video I'm trying to be as clear as possible to show where your fingers go It's not easy, it takes practice The best thing that you can be doing this week is just from that to that, to that, to that, and learning how to get around those shapes and trying to lock them into muscle memory. That's the best way to do this and then think about putting the song together. But you can try it and get someone to sing along with you as well. So I'll just sing you what we've learned so far, which is our first verse and our first chorus. And next time we're going to look at our second verse, which is the same as the first, really. So we're nearly all the way through the song. So here's the introduction. I'm going under now this time I feel there's no one to save me This all or nothing really got away you're driving me crazy I need somebody to heal Somebody to know Somebody to have Somebody to hold It's easy to say But it's never the same I guess I kinda like the way you numbed all the pain And now the day bleeds into nightfall And you're not here to get me through it all I let my guard down and then you pull the rug I was getting kinda used to being someone you loved So I think you now know what to do this week so I'm going to put my guitar down and I will make another video next week and see you in a week's time. Enjoy playing, have fun with it. See you soon guys and stay safe.